of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, in order to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us recall to mind all our sins and failures, and ask the Lord pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. children of light. Grant, we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 to 19. The command to sacrifice Isaac. After these things, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I shall show you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. He cut the wood for the burnt offerings and set out and went to the place in the distance that God had shown him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place far away. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac and he himself carried the fire and the knife. So the two of them walked on together. Isaac said to his father Abraham, Father, and he said, here I am, my son. He said, The fire and the wood are here, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. So the two of them walked on together. When they came to the place that God had shown him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out to his son and, and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God since you have withhe not withheld your son, your only son from me. And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in a thicket by its horns. Abraham went, took the ram, and offered it as a burnt offering 
instead of his son. So Abraham called the place the Lord will provide. As it is on to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offering shall possess the great gate of their enemies and your offering shall all the nations of the earth gain blessings for them because you have obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned to his young men and they arose and went together to Beersheba and Abraham lived at Beersheba. The word of the Lord. Response to the psalm. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I love the Lord for he has heard my cry and my appeal. For he turned his ear to me in this day when I called him. Response. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me, sorrow and distress. I called the Lord's name. O Lord my God, deliver me. Response. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. How gracious is the Lord and just our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless and he saved me. Response, I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Response, I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Acclamation. Alleluia. Of his own will, will the Father brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 1 to 8. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 1 to 8. After getting into a boat, he crossed the sea and came to his own town. And just then, some people were carrying a paralyzed man lying on the bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to themselves, this man is blaspheming. But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, and said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand up and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth, to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. And he stood up and went to his home. When the crowd saw it, they were filled with awe, and they glorified God, 
and who had given such authority to human beings. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel speaks two important things to all of us. The first thing is power of forgiveness. The second thing is healing of body, mind and soul. If we go to doctor, he may heal only the physical illness. He may not heal the mental agony or the soul or mind. Today, Jesus presents himself who can heal the body, mind and soul. Jesus wants to heal all of us, you and me, the body, mind and soul. And he is asking all of us to surrender ourselves so that he may heal all our infirmities, all our sickness of mind, soul and body. Many times we are crippled and bedridden with so many problems in our life. We may not express. We may be struggling in our life with various kinds of psychic problems, psychosomatic problems and so many other problems which we cannot express to others. Here Jesus is present hanging on the cross and inviting you and me, my dear child, come to me. I am ready to heal you. Whatever the sickness you have physically, mentally, bodily and whatever the problem you have on this earth and he is ever ready to walk with us, to stay with us. And let us submit ourselves to the mercy of the Lord so that he may bring us to back the wholeness of life so that we may experience the power of blessings in our life. Otherwise, what happens? We may remain static. We may remain inactive in our life. We may not become a blessing for us and we may not become a blessing for others. Today, as we offer the bread and wine at this altar, whatever the problem that we are facing in our life, we surrender to Jesus so that he may heal the wholeness of life, so that we may experience the blessing of our Almighty God. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O 
God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as endured his passion, and so to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the escapes, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Thomas Bala Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you through all the ages. We may merit to be co in our life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 
of the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we have the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me his holy name. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that, bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ.